I'm just gonna feature Drake. Hello, hello, happy hello. Friday, everybody. <clears throat> uh, thanks for joining our uh, weekly producers club. Uh, super thrilled to um, host and speak to and listen to and learn from the Drake Cruz himself. Drake. Hello. How are you doing? This is my, we're going to do a ventriloquist thing today and he's going to talk for me. So yeah, there's my little bobblehead. Hey, it, it's, it's almost looks like you. It does. When, <laughs> before I messed up my hair. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, Drake Cruz, um, you know, we, we, we go back, you know, um, since you, you know, join our company, um, or our office, specifically not the company, the, the office, you've been with KW for many, many years many. and, uh, been, been a beautiful ride so far, uh, and glad to have you here. We really want to, um, there's just so much to, to learn from you. And I want to take this opportunity, first of all, to kind of, um, listen to your your story like you know who's drake who you know came from where and and where are you heading and then we're gonna dive uh, and dig deeper uh i'm gonna have some fun my story i was born a poor island child no actually so um it's funny because uh my story well people are shocked when they hear what actually my educational background is so actually Prior to real estate, I was a child therapist. I was actually a behavior therapist. So I specialized in working with children with autism. Mm. And what I would do is um, families would hire me to create a specific curriculum for their child and their family's needs. So I'd go to their house and, you know, just design a curriculum, whether it was for them to do better um, at the grocery store or at the mall or at school or just at home. And it was a very, very, very rewarding experience. I did that freelance for about eight, nine years. Wow. Um, and unfortunately, when you're at university, they, the only thing that they don't teach you is, is self-preservation. And when you're working with kids, you pour your heart out. There's, there's no, there's no half in you're, you're either all in or, or you're, you're not committed. Anybody that knows me knows that I can't do anything without passion, whether it's jumping in a pool at a fundraiser or, or holding a fundraiser and get, getting Robin to dance on stage in his underwear. That's on video. Um, I also um, have a degree in education. So I was actually able to teach at my alumni elementary school. And that was very, very, very odd um, because every time I got called into the principal's office as a teacher, I had flashbacks of when I was getting called to the principal's office as a child. Because <laughs> I know it may be difficult for you to believe, but I was in the principal's office and the dean's office on a regular basis because I was an overachiever. We'll, we'll just leave it at that. So uh, that's really kind of my professional uh, background. I've done a lot of things um, and I've been in real estate now for 22 years. I got licensed in, in, in the year 2000. So it's, uh, it's been a ride. Did you, did you start, um... Uh, when you got licensed, did you have another job or you just like jump cold turkey? I did. Hmm. I, so I was, um, I was working as the behavior therapist Monday through Friday. Hmm. Wow. And then on the weekends, I was actually working at a little restaurant, a little um, mom and pop place in Long Beach at, at 4th and Temple. And for those people that um, have been in Long Beach a while, they, they might remember it. Robin, do you remember the little restaurant called the Porch Cafe at 4th and Fourth and Temple, Fourth and Ohio. No, I don't. <clears throat> Some, yeah. So yeah, you, you have to go back quite a way because because it's it's been gone for a while. Mm -hmm. But uh, if if you're a, a native Long Beach person, you you've heard of it. So people knew me, and um, people just said, you know what, you'd be good at real estate because you you have you have the gift of the gab, and you make people comfortable. 
you're a relationship kind of guy. I'm like, well, I knew a lot of realtors that actually came into the restaurant and, and I'd watch them actually come that business at, you know, at the tables. I'm like, well, gosh, that was, that's a, that's interesting. I could, I, I could work at a restaurant. And um, luckily, as soon as I got my license and just started spreading the news, um, I had more business than I knew what to do with. And I had no idea what I was doing um, because unfortunately there wasn't a mentor program, you know, like, like we have now to, to help guide you. So mm -hmm. there were a few people, the broker was one I, you know, took a lot of time with me. Um, but for the most part, you, you really were a solo agent in, in every aspect. Yeah. So <clears throat> 22 years ago, uh, which is pretty impressive, how did you um, get into uh, KW? Uh, was, was that your first company? No. You, you, no, you no. Know. I started with um, a company um, that was very gold. Gold. And I was there for uh, five years. Um, and I remember, um, I remember walking, the first place I ever walked into was over at uh, Marina Pacifica, a little place called, I think they were called Shoreline, actually, way back like where Tantalum. Mm -hmm. and I remember walking and um, there was a broker manager there. Um, I don't think you guys remember Bill Miller. He was a fantastic man. And he goes, you know, I told him, I said, I love everything that you've said. I said, but I can't go with you because you're the first person I've ever talked to about this. He goes, well, I'm going to get you. I'm like, okay. And then a few years later, um, the company that I joined across the street and that company actually merged. So he wound up, did, he wound up getting me after all. But I was with that company for five years just to kind of learn the basics. And then um, we heard this thing about there's this new concept coming in um, called Keller Williams and nobody had heard of it. And then one opened up uh, near the circle. And then um, another one was opening up in Los Alamitos. And um, that's where a lot of us went. And that is where I had the pleasure. I remember when the, um, the broker called me into the office, again, being called into the office. And she goes, hey, I'm thinking about hiring a new team leader. What do you know about Elaine Armagita? <laughs> so it's 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 been a minute that I've known Elaine and and it it's it's you know it it's kind of nice that I actually got a say as to whether she came in or not. And you know, it's been a love fest ever since. So we go way back. <clears throat> That's that, yeah. That's that's pretty amazing. And thank you for saying you know for the uh, recommendations, right? <laughs> um, so fast forward, um, you know, you evolved right into who you are today. Um, tell us a bit more about your, uh, you know, what is it you're focusing on? Uh, your specialty. Your your you know you are focusing on a few aspects of the business, and, and you're doing great. So it's gonna just get more about that. Some more insight. Yeah, um, what I'm focused on, what I'm focusing on now is not what I was focusing on in the past. And uh, if you've been in the business long enough, you, you know that our business is a constant moving target. At least I see it as a moving target. So you're constantly shifting to what's, what's best for your business. Um, I've always have been under the mindset that if you can get into a niche market, you can, you can survive all shifts of all sizes. So I have shifted uh, to, as many of you know, um, as you can see it back there, uh, to the HERO program. So I really, really focus on military, veterans or active military. Uh, it's a super, super easy conversation to have. And I don't know anybody that doesn't want to support that genre of people. So it's, again, super, super easy to make every person I have an advocate for myself and the program. It's kind of a no-brainer. How, how did you um, 
choose to go to, to that path? Actually, uh, uh, a former in-house lender uh, that I had worked with um, at the KW office was introduced to the program by another agent of his from another, another office. And uh, he goes straight, he goes, hey, I just got introduced to this foundation. And he goes, uh, it's, it's screaming you all over it. And what he meant by that is just, uh, again, um, my favorite bold law coming from contribution. And, uh, you know, cause it's a, it's a reward program, you know, giving back to, to our heroes. And he goes, you should check it out. I said, okay. So I went online, checked it out found out that um, they were about ready to have their version of family reunion. They call it success camp. And it was in Denver in two weeks. I'm like, huh? So I hopped on a plane and, and ended up in Denver two weeks later and, and I'd signed up and then flew out to Denver to join. It was just a very, very natural, natural fit. That, that was how, how many years ago? Uh, five. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So you, you just saw an opportunity in a sense of, uh, uh, what was it like, diversify your business, uh, you saw yourself, you know, a good fit for that kind of uh, uh, niche market, or what was it? You know, it was, it was more about, um, it had really had nothing to do with me. It was more about, I have to admit, I'm not really me focused. I'm like, what can I do for you? And my... Um, two favorite genres of people are teachers um, and military. Um, military, because my, my family, all my uncles, you know, they were in the Navy, the Army, the Air Force. I, I mean, they were in, in all of the branches. Um, but it, that service actually ended with, with my generation. And none of my cousins, I'm sorry, one cousin out of the whole entire generation uh, went into the Marines, but it kind of stopped there. Uh, and the fact that I was a teacher at one time and I know the struggles, and I think anybody that knows a teacher today knows the struggles that they constantly have and, and the shortages of funds and the shortages of materials. And I thought, this is the perfect way for me to help them where they need it most. And most people need help you know, they're doing something that they're already going to be doing, which is buying a home. So why not reward them? And the great thing about that is that they're such loyal people. Um, and if you can find loyal people and loyal friends, beside that bell, um, they, they will stick with you and they will be an advocate for you and they will tell their friends about you. And it just becomes a natural genuine, really, really heartfelt transaction. I mean, there, yes, it's a transaction. I'm, you know, I'm getting paid for it, but it's way deeper than that. It's, it's, it's not about the money. It's, you know, it's about the mission. Oh, I could write that down. It's not about the money. It's about the mission. I like that. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. You know, and, and you, you've been always, 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 and that one thing uh, very consistent about you, and like you mentioned, you always come from contribution, right? You always focus on other people uh, in a sense of like, how can I deliver more quality, better service and support, et cetera? Uh, what, 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 what gets you excited about that? You know, um, you've got some big people on here. And I'm going to use Allison as an example, because, I mean, how can you not ad admire her and her, her business-like qualities and just, I mean, even her generosity? You know, I've seen her change, you know, over the decades as well. But, um, wow, and I totally, totally just lost my train of thought. I had a dead bell moment, sorry. So, <laughs> no, it's about, about repeat the question coming. again. Uh, it's about coming from, from uh, you see, it, it just shows, you know, how uh, given you are, right? You're, you're about to give us uh, the insight about you being a giver and what uh, uh, gets you excited about it. And then you gave uh, a shout out to uh, Alison and you. Okay. 
So, I mean, I mean, we hear over and over and over again, you know, um, it, it's all about listings. It's all about listings. And, 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 and that's very, very true. But when it comes down, you know, and you know, I'll admit it. Yes, of course I love listings. Who doesn't? But I get way more excited when I'm handing that first time buyer a set of keys. It just, it just feels good. And, you know, when, when you are helping people achieve something that they've only dreamt about and you are there at the exact precise moment that it happens, you can't beat that. And um, I am, you know, I'm a touchy feely kind of guy anyways. So it resonates with me and, and, and I, you know, Hi, my name is Drake. And I love being a buyer's agent. Well, I love being a realtor, but I love being a buyer's agent. It's just, it just feels good. So it gives you that, that satisfaction of really Ab like Absolutely, absolutely. Plus, you know, it's, it's not just the house. You know, I always, you know, let them know, okay, well, if you need help spending more money, you know, like, like remodeling and, and design stuff, I'm more than happy to spend your money because that's one thing that I think I'm pretty good at is, is design and, and changing floor plans and knowing materials for backsplashes and counters and whatever it is. I love that kind of stuff because I spent a lot of time at model homes. So I, I know what's out there. I know that today's wallpaper is not your grandma's wallpaper anymore. And, you know, there's been a whole entire revolution of design and um, I watch it on TV and I see it in person as often as I can. So I love spending people's money that way. Yeah, purposefully. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what What is it that um, you do today? It might be the same thing, but we you know again a lot of people here don't really know you that that well. Uh, which is this is the opportunity. What is it you're doing today? Uh, same or different than before to uh, position yourself? to uh, how the market is behaving now and maybe in the future maybe differently nobody knows right um i am huge with making sure okay one of the most scary statistics i've ever heard um and i think we've all heard of um a version of it is something like 70 percent of consumers would use their realtor that sold them the house to buy their next house. Yet only like, what is it? Nine or 11% do because they can't remember who their realtor is. Mm -hmm. That is 1000% not ever gonna happen to me because I keep in contact with people that I've sold homes from way back in the early 2000s. Uh, and talk about database. It's all about the database. And I made a, it was, it was a really funny joke. I think I mentioned this uh, um, on the last panel that I was with. So my listing that I have right now, I think we're opening escrow on Monday. Um, I sold that to them 19 years ago. Hmm. And the funny thing is, is when I did my first open house last Saturday in two and a half years, hmm. my mentee, was born the year I sold them the house. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just involved as much as I can be in their lives, the ones that will accept me. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm always talking to them, regardless of whether I'm being invited over for dinner or not, or drinks is probably a lot more common or even coffee. But I do, I just do stuff with them as often as I possibly can by staying in touch with them and just being involved. Um, so for you new agents, when you are closing your transactions, you, you know, I should say if it's a right, if it's the right fit for your personality and you guys actually are fond of each other, be a part of their life. And right now I, I wrote down on my accountability sheet, I'm going to be doing something in regards to babies, because for some reason, there's been about six or seven babies born in my database hmm. last year. I think it's COVID. 
And, um, but, you know, what a great way to, again, strengthen that bond by trying, you know, but maybe it's just a cute little baby gift, whatever it is, you got to continue to make that connection. And, and you got to nurture, nurture, nurture. It, it doesn't, it, it costs hardly anything, but the rewards and the bond, you know, I know they're never going to go anywhere else because if you, anywhere you go, if you cater to the child, you've won the parents. Mm -hmm. So. So, yeah, so, so you, you're, you're, what are you saying? Pretty much you're, you're not um, willing to lose any, kind of connection or relationship from your database. And the database is pretty much the people that you uh, had transactions in the past and people that you're nourishing currently, right? Like you know, Homeless for Heroes, for example, those, those are, you know, like future clients. Like you, your, your attitude is, you know, your de my database is not just like pile of names or what have you, is mm. bank of relationships. Is that pretty much what it is? A bank of relationships. That's a great way to put it. Um, it can be exhausting getting invited to dinner after dinner and but you know what what a problem to have because the great thing about it is that if you're getting invited over to dinner and there's other people there it's a warm lead it's i mean it's it's a warm to hot lead for everybody else that is there at that party and they will tell everyone about you and i make sure that i'm not 100% but I don't walk out the door very often without a specialized shirt. It's just an, it, it's like wearing, you know, if you, if you don't have embroidered shirts, then you need to make sure that you wear your name tag as soon as, you know, as just go to the grocery store, go to Costco, you know, as long as you're dressed nice, throw the name tag on. It is the easiest way to have someone ask you a question. I mean, it's just, it happens. It just happens. Can, can you can you show us your logo? Uh, uh, what, what what does it say? A Drake Rick from Rome. <clears throat> yeah. So, what what no. are you? Sorry, go ahead. It's like every time I do um, videos here at the home office. You know what's behind you matters. I mean, I would have cleaned up a little bit. That's why I think I had to change the camera angle. You know, because I like you know the desk clean but it's free advertising space behind you. Why not use it? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, what, what are your thoughts about, you know, one's um, um, promotion, marketing, logo, identity? I, I, I clearly, you know, you have your own logo and identity, but like, you know, if, you're, if you were to consult to someone else, right, that is in the business, um, broad consistency, et cetera, how, how would you go about that? You know, it's all about, it's all about consistency. And um, has my logo changed over the years? Absolutely. Um, it's, I think it's been Drake for Homes from the get-go. Um, but it just looks a little different, but it's always basically been the same name. Um, and I think that that, that that is huge because when you are, <clears throat> especially when you're starting out, um, you might think that you're not getting any traction, but we have to realize is what you're actually doing is you're laying the foundation for the future. And it is so, so uber important that you, you know, you take some time to think about your, your work name, your, your tagline, whatever it is, it's a small bit but when it's done over the years, thousands of times, um, people, people just remember it. And if you can be a little bit, I don't wanna say quirky or catchy, because obviously there's quite a few of us that have taglines, there's quite a few of us that have, you know, um, mottos, whatever you wanna call them. Um, so trying to stick out and be unique is, you know, there's a little bit of work involved, but one of my mentees, oh my gosh, her tagline on her email is uh, something about happiness is eating tacos in your new home. 
I thought that was fantastic because I'm never going to forget it. And so I'm like, okay, girl. So when you close a home, you need to bring a taco truck and invite the whole entire neighborhood there because <laughs> yes. I think it's brilliant. And, and she kind of laughed. She goes, really? I'm like, it's brilliant. I say, you have, you have no idea because you're brand new still, but it's brilliant because mm-hmm. who doesn't love tacos? And if you don't like tacos, we cannot be friends. Sorry. <laughs> Tell us something fun about Drake. Don't. Okay, you know how gremlins don't get gremlins wet, <laughs> right? <laughs> don't give Drake alcohol. <sighs> I can be convinced to do just about anything if you give me a nice scotch. It's terrible. It's terrible. Ask Robin. <laughs> I, I, I was just about to say, I feel like Robin want to wanna pitch in. <laughs> so. Robin, Robin has been victim to some of my uh, abuses over the year. Friendly abuses. Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you ever want to see Robin dancing in his underwear, just let me know, because I have video that's on YouTube. It's super, super easy to find. <laughs> so you, you two, not long ago, we... Uh, all of us had the pleasure to uh, be guests at uh, Alison's uh, Alison Van Wig's house. Uh, she did like amazing mastermind. Uh, yeah. And you and Robin uh, did what at the end and for what purpose? Okay, I blame Hallie and Deb Bell for this one because I thought they were kidding. So I just remember you, sir. So maybe I'll blame you. You were talking with Robin next to the pool, and I just made a joke that the last time that Robin and I were together at a pool, Mm -hmm. I got to push him in for his birthday. And then some certain team leader that was within earshot said, well, why don't we raise money? I'm like, I'm not getting in the pool. It's not happening. And so I left that conversation. And then the wonderful evening takes place and I get up because it's time for me to go. So I thought, and Deb goes, come over here, come over here. I'm like, what? She goes, hold on a second. And then they started announcing how much money they raised because evidently people thought that it would be funny to see us both jump in the pool. So they raised, I want to say $620. I, I don't understand it. And then, uh, then Elaine goes and matches it um, just to see a guy from Germany and Iceland jump in the pool. <laughs> well, the reason I, I'm bringing this up, and thanks for sharing, by the way, uh, is just to show that, you know, you've been doing this for 22 years. You've been working on and off hard, reinventing yourself, rebuilding yourself, helping like dozens and dozens of people. And you still have the ability to, number one, not taking yourself too seriously, right? Never. And number two is to have this like fun, um, seriousness, work, and life, fun, whatever balance. Yeah. You know, it's life in general is so crazy that I think, you know, I feel sorry for those people that don't have some fun outlet in life. and. Um, I think that's what's great about this industry is that we're all so different. We all attract different types of clients. And so there's somebody for everybody out there. And I just choose to surround myself with people that I know that I can love and trust. And when I need, um, you know, a jibe or when I need something, you know, um, a, a, a partner in crime, you know, depending on what it is, I know there's someone close by and, uh, Robin warned me, he goes, you should leave now. I'm like, what? (laughs) (laughs) Robin, fail, Robin, fail warning. Fail, fail. Yeah. And and, and you know, that's one thing I can say with with confidence uh, uh, that, I mean, we have beautiful, first of all, we have amazing company that we're all part of, KW, uh, and because the culture trickles down uh, to the field and I can say the same thing for all, all, of, all of my offices. Everybody's going to feel great about it, right? But for sure, the coastal office in Long Beach that you're part of, uh, uh, and you have significant 
um, portion of that contribution to the office culture, right? The camaraderie. Uh, it, it's it's really beautiful and it's rare in a sense of like how everybody really collaborate and just really want to help one another, inspire one another, and 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 also just have fun. Yeah, we have a we have a a long. <clears throat> deep rich history of some incredible yeah. fundraisers and and um i'm 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 predicting next next year not this year because there's some events coming up this year which are very distracting but but next year um i've already been in the talks with with someone and uh an event from the past will be coming back uh next year to rear its fun head so there's your there's your preview and announcement. Uh, do, do you, do you want to share with us about your big event coming up? No, I, no, I do not. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it as a surprise. But those who know, know what I'm talking about. Robin, you know what I'm talking about, probably. He's yes. stay muted. Stay it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. It, it's And I, I just remember when we did it, um, and it's going to be a multi-office um, event. So it'll be it'll be regional. Yeah, and um, I've already spoken to a couple of people from as far down as Irvine that will That's be awesome. joining us. So it'll be um, huge. Hopefully, ho hopefully, it's always <laughs> nerve wracking though because you never know are people going to show up, and then it's and then it's packed. But you but you never know. So, Drake, to uh, sum up the uh, this uh, uh, really awesome session, give us a just word of uh, Drake wisdom. Uh, about, you know, from now until the end of the year, what we should do, do more of. I was part of a book club and um, Alice, my dear, dear friend, <clears throat> who's Alice in charge of the book She's in the call. Yeah. And um, I remember one of the first books that we read, I want to say probably two years ago, um, just had a quote in it which just resonated with me. Just, I mean, I couldn't get it out of my head. So I actually wound up having to put it um, on a picture. So this is what I'll leave you with. This says that um, each and every day, someone somewhere in my city needs my services. My job today is to find that person. Love it. How's that? <clears throat> so I have it here next to my desk. So I can see that every single day. Yeah. So 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 keep keep looking every day, day to day. Someone needs someone needs you. Someone needs you. Yeah. We need you, Mary. <laughs> we need you, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> well, love is in the air for sure. I'm gonna get my uh, captain hat. Uh, Drake Cruz, it's been a pleasure, and uh, thank you for Hi. being a beautiful uh person inside out and for being generous to share that uh, uh wisdom with us uh, today anytime sir anytime and thanks everybody for uh being here and uh we're gonna see you uh out there keep it up